Ah, hello there, and welcome to another educational video about screen printing. Today's video is a quick tip video, quick tips for screen printing. And what's it about? Well, the video is about simply how to clean plastisol ink off of your screens. Now you might say, well, who, who needs a quick tip video about that? Well, a lot of people have asked for it, so I thought I would show you the two different methods that I use to clean plastisol ink off of my screens. And the first method that we will show you is when you're going to take some ink off the screen and reuse the screen. Okay? And the second method that I will show you is when you're going to clean the screen of ink and go directly to reclaim. Okay? So let's move over to the washout booth and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, here we are at the washout booth, and the reason why I chose the washout booth to do this demonstration is because one of the methods I use, we're going to actually rinse the screen with some water. Okay, so uh, I apologize that, you know, my head's cut off here, but I wanted to give you a little bit closer shot of what I'm doing, and besides that, you don't need to see my ugly mug all the time, do you? <laughs> okay, so, um, so first things first. For when, you know, when I'm going to reuse a screen, I don't take the tape off or anything. I just bring it in here, and the first thing I do is take a dry rag, just a dry rag, and wipe off some of this excess ink. Okay, so anywhere there's a little bit of extra ink buildup, this, and you know, when, you, when you're printing a lot longer, you know, I only printed a couple shirts with this, so there's not much ink around, but... You know, when you've been printing a lot, you know, you can tend to have a little bit of ink around the edges or maybe on the side of the frame. And you simply just wipe this off with a dry rag. And the reason for that, there's two reasons for that. One is it's going to save us consumables. It's going to save us some PW4 from Sadicam. And it's also going to make the job easier because if I threw a bunch of solvent on here with all that extra ink, then all the extra ink would get around everywhere. So my first thing is to remove some of the excess ink with a dry rag. Okay, now I'm going to take some PW4, Soddy Chem Press Wash 4, which is for textiles. And I don't have it in a spray bottle right at the moment. I apologize. I, I didn't have my spray bottle set up just yet. So I put a little bit on the rag. You can spray some on the screen if you want. And simply wipe it down. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is to it. At this point, you would just wipe it down to the extent that you need the screen clean. Okay, if it's, if it's a screen that you're going to use the same ink on next time, you, you know, you might not have to clean it thoroughly. You can just take the ink off. This one is probably a screen that will only print with black ink, so that's fairly decent, you know what I'm saying? Since I'm going to lay black ink on here again, this is plenty clean to store and it leaves the emulsion clear enough for me to see through when I go to press and I want to line it up to my palette line marks. And that's it. Okay, so that one I would reuse. Now, for this one, since we're going to reclaim it, the first thing I'll do is take the tape off and this tape has been on here a little while so it takes a minute to get it started. And don't, don't do that where you knock your knuckles into the side of the washout booth as the tape breaks. But as you can see, masking tape, if you don't saturate it with solvents and you don't leave it on your screen way too long, masking tape comes off fairly easy. And, you know, it's a cheap tape. So, anybody who tells you that masking tape 
leaves residue or leaves adhesive on your screen. Well, it's true, it can if you saturate it with too much solvents or you leave it on the screen for a really long time. This tape has been on here for probably actually almost a year, but the screen wasn't heavily used, so it comes off. Okay, so that's it. Now, what I'm going to do here is, because we're going to reclaim it, I'm going to use Sodichem's IR4, and I'm going to spray it right onto the screen. And then, I'll use a red to work it in a little bit. This screen was also uh, sitting in the hot shop for a while with the ink, so the ink is a little bit tacked up. And for this one, I'm just gonna, I had to use a little bit more chemical because my ink was a little dry. You know, so I had to loosen it up a little bit there. Okay, and we're just kind of working it in a little bit. And I'm not worried too much about taking off what I'm rubbing in. Okay, now. We simply rinse it down. spots that, you know, there's a little here, you just come in and wipe it a little bit, like that, pretty good. And that's it. Because you can see I, there's a little bit of ink residue left here and there, but because I would go directly to reclaiming now, I've removed most of the ink, pretty much all the ink, and now the emulsion remover can get to the emulsion and do its job. So that's the way I would do it if I were about to reclaim the screen. Okay, so that's it. And I apologize if I'm a little getting a little sweaty here. You can see it's getting a little hot in the shop, but that's it for today's quick tip video. Um, you know, when you're when you're cleaning ink off of the screen. To be reused again, I recommend using Saudi Chem's Press Wash 4. When you're going to reclaim the screen, I recommend using Saudi Chem's IR4 and rinsing it out like this. And then you can go straight to your emulsion remover and get to work. All right, so thanks a lot for watching our video. Cat's Pit Productions always appreciates you guys stopping by the website and the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, great thumbs up. And as always, please subscribe.